Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Java on your Windows machine. Before jumping into installing section, I will give you a little overview about Java. Guys, what is the latest version of Java? Yes, you all know at the time of recording, Java 14 is the latest one. As I remember, uh, it was released on March 17th uh, in this year, 2020. So as Oracle said that first version was released in 1996 as for now actually been uh, developed for about 24 years. Mm, it's a long long journey. In my coming up videos I will tell you what other changes have been made to the technology over the years. In my experience, when I am entering this industry as a software engineer, latest version of Java 7. So as for now, there are a lot of things has been changed. Uh, in separate video, I will show you how and what are the new features in Java. You know, streams, optionals, functional interfaces, lambda extrusion and so and so. More things to go, trust me. I will do separate video for that. Okay guys, up to now we knew little overview about Java. If you are a beginner or those who interest to learn Java or need to become a good enterprise level application developer, this is the first step uh, actually. You need a software development environment first. For that we need to install JDK. What is JDK? JDK is Java Development Environment. First, we need to decide which version of JDK, I mean Java, you want. Actually, as I mentioned earlier, if you are a beginner or a university student, I recommend to start with Java 9 because a uh, lot of companies still use Java 9 or 8, sometimes 7 as well. Still, they have not migrated to the latest versions, but uh, it's up to you guys. You can choose what version you want, but one thing. You are going to work in on Java project, you want to choose save version which your project has been configured. It's very important. Okay, for this demonstration, I'm going to use Java 8. No matter which version you are going to install, because a similar step you need to do. this url for oracle website and uh, i have mentioned this uh, url in description below you can see it once you go there uh, you can see here you can download java c14 version here you can see java 11 version and here is the thing so java 8 this is the one today i going to uh, download and install so here you can download JDK. Once you come there, you can select the operating system you want. So there are many operating systems you can see here: Linux, Mac OS, uh, Windows. So I choose Windows today. So you can download here. You need to the D can you can download JDK so depend your uh, internet speed it will get some time to download I already downloaded it so I am not going to download now You can see here there is a download link like JRE. Once you click, you can see there are a lot of JRE versions uh, for different operating systems. 
journey is java runtime environment what is this and why do we want here is the thing if you want to run java program but not develop them download jrv if you want to develop java application download java development kit or jdk the jdk the last step uh, you can close finally okay guys now we are successfully installed jdk so as well as jrv so here you can see our jdk and jrv successfully installed so you can see the version right 251 JDK version and as well as JRV 251. So now we need to set up our two environment variables so to get it to work. Let's see how to set up your environment variable you need to get the system property window in here you need to click environment variable here uh, you need to define two part variable one for java form as well as jrv form so let's see we need to click new and we need to put uh, variable name so Java program files and Java here this is the JDK we need to click bin folder okay then okay now first step is that we configure JDK home part so next we need to set up JRE home as well directory C program files Java. this is the JRV to select the bin folder then ok finally click ok Show JDK and set up two environment variable and this is the final step. We need to make sure our system actually now contain Java. Also, if contain, we need to check the version. For that, we need command prompt. This is my command prompt. Then, with using Java C command, we can identify whether system now containing Java or not. Okay, now system is identified Java C command. It's me now our system containing Java. Next step is we need to check what is the version of the Java. How we can know the version? So, this is the command. My Java hyphen version you can find Java version. Cool. Java version, what is the Java version? 251. So it's mean this is the correct one we installed before, right? So
Okay, cool. We install JDK and we good to go. That is one thing. In this video, I didn't explain Java in depth. We learned how to download and install JDK, how to configure path variables and so and so. Now, our Windows OS ready to develop and run Java applications. Then guys, now you are ready to learn Java program. You can use any ID like Eclipse, IntelliJ, Own and Beans. Eclipse uh, totally free, open source actually. But uh, IntelliJ you need to pay. Uh, but uh, that IDs are very helpful while you are doing developments. Uh, I highly recommend to use IntelliJ because uh, it has so many good features also in industry nowadays commonly used. I personally use IntelliJ. IntelliJ has introduced so many shortcuts for our easiness. While you are developing guys, try to use shortcuts. It reduces your development time as well. Okay, that's it guys. In this video, you will learn how to install Java into your Windows machine. In my coming up videos, I will hope to discuss more about Java. Till then, I will conclude this video. Then if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video and comment what you feel and think about this and also share the video with your social media and introduce this channel for friends you know right so stay tuned see you again until we meet again take care